Tch. After all I do to get here, we let one get away on us. Isn't that right, Snidel? Oh, yes, indeed. Such a lost opportunity for it was obviously rare. If only it had been caught. Why, if you caught it, Gorigan, your collection would have been enhanced by 0.7%. Such a disappointing loss. Took off because you made so much noise, Gorigan, sir. I heard that! You're pinning the blame on me? That's blatant insubordination! I'm in a foul mood today, not plain foul. Foul foul. Today of all days! Oh, Gorigan, sir! An intruder! Urgh, that fool Snaddle had to screw up! Someone let this outsider get in here? Our recovery plan's done, but we can't let you go. Not after you've seen us here. Hey! Yes, sir. Teach this little boy a thing or two about pain. Aye, aye, sir. You just leave everything to me. You can be assured the job will be done while you return to the lair. See to it! Well, now you heard the man. I must get back to the lair too. You know what to do. Wait a second, that's not what you said. Allow me to explain. We have a crucial job to do with the lair. We need to make sure to Pokemon from the, those that were on the ship. You do agree this is indeed important, don't you? If you're doing the job, you would take 38% more effort than I. In that case, Gorgon's move would worsen by 72%. You do agree that that is most inefficient, don't you? As a result, if you were to take this boy in from my place, we would be ahead 63% in terms of overall efficiency. You do understand, don't you? It's only for efficiency's sake. I'll be going now. <laughs> Why do I always get the feeling I've been had? And I don't get it, why is this guy getting cat? His rank looks higher than the other guy, like his suit is more awesome. Like he has like a yellow scarf and his helmet's fancier. Smarten. Uh, hey, if you don't want to get duped, you better smarten yourself up. <laughs> anyway, uh, this area kind of could have other regions under attack by Cypher, and it would make sense within the context of this world and everything that they've established. It's like they were intending to do another game, but just never got to do it. And it's kind of a shame, though, because I feel like that they were probably intended to do more with this whole idea, if that was the case. And of course, as soon as I start using light screen, we have a bunch of physical attacks used on us in battle. Uh, I'm gonna throw out Billy Bob just because he's lower leveled, and even though he is susceptible to water damage, I'm just gonna hope that he's an idiot and just chooses to attack Billy Bob with Teddy Ursus. So let's see. Go! Didn't think that was gonna KO by a long shot. Oh, frozen! Damn, I'm gonna get lucky. Okay, I, I didn't need Teddy Ursa, but I did freeze. Uh, we'll go take down, and uh, I'll go water pulse. There we go. Okay, this is pretty good. He's using fan attack. Oh my god, is that going to be? Is that gonna? Ah, six damage. I was hoping for one damage. Oh well. Can't complain about six damage though, but I still would have liked to have added it to that non-existent counter that I haven't been tracking. All right, Huntail takes damage. Down it goes. And coughing, okay. I, I like coughing. G good on you for using coughing, I do like it. Yours might not be blue like mine was, but hey, I, I like coughing nonetheless. Still a good choice, down goes Teddy Ursa. And now, let's hope. I am hoping, actually no, I'm not gonna get a level up on uh, on my ball during this battle, unfortunately. I, I hate to say it though, but I'm really not. Okay, uh, we'll go Iron Tail, I know it has high defense, and I'll go Ice Beam, this should take it out. Okay, Wh what? Okay, I know that I got Rock Tomb though, but you know it's sad when an Auron is the fastest Pokemon on the field. <laughs> Just saying, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Sludge, come on, attack. No, it's not attacking Aron. Oh, well, uh-oh, am I gonna faint here? Crap, am I gonna... Oh! Okay, I, I didn't get one damage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of laughing at just how weird that sounded. <laughs> My O oh sounded weird. <laughs> oh, no, not having a Pokemon survive the end of a battle when it wasn't gonna level up. <laughs> Alright, we've won. Snaps his finger, shows us his tight butt on his costume, and then gives us 1080 Poké Dollars once again, of course. And he just vanishes into thin air, but he's replaced by some construction worker who walks very funny. I watched you battle those downright bizarre people. You're some kind of tough, aren't you? Huh? Me? I just happened to stumble across the ship, so I made it my home. You know, there's plenty of food and all. I have to admit, I'm certain... I have to admit, certain things bug me, but nothing's perfect in life. I gotta admit, I'm glad that weird bunch is gone. I owe you thanks for that, at least. You must be tired into that battle, right? You can rest up at my place. It's in the warehouse. Mm. 
And we get fully healed! How generous of him! So it really didn't matter that Spiel survived. Well, did you get some decent rest? You're free to use a bit whenever you feel tired, okay? Alright, so we have a free place where we can heal whenever we want, which is actually kind of pointless, as you'll see here in a minute. Anyway, he says that every so often there's odd noises coming from deep in the ship's hull. And there's something down there. Are we going to go look? Ooh, sounds adventurous. If we're going to go down there, we're going to fight some kind of giant monster that is, you know, going to, like, be one hell of a battle for us. You know, we're going to barely get through and... Wait a minute. This guy has the hipster shirt. Like, this is the shirt that's worn by those hipster... The, the, I think they're... I forget what they're called. I think they're casual dudes in Coliseum. This guy, he went from hipster to construction worker. Eevee is like the best idea they've ever had for a starter Pokemon, and I wish more games would do something like that. I, heard, I Stop interrupting me! God! So okay. In all seriousness, I suggest moving with the D-pad in these areas, because if you fall off, you got freaking. I suggest moving with the D-pad in these areas, because it is very easy to fall off, and if you jump down behind where the crate is, you've got to push it out of the way, and then push it back into place, and then... Ugh. Okay. Also, if you push it up against a wall, you do have to leave the room and come back. If you do that, the box's position will be reset. You can't pull. At least I don't think you can. I Actually, can I pull? No, I cannot. Alright. This room. We are gonna be here a while, to say the least. Nice voice crack, by the way. I, I gotta compliment myself. I gotta, I gotta compliment myself where compliments are due. I... Had one hell of a voice crack there. Is that a good thing? No, but I did a good job at having my voice crack on me, as per usual. Uh, that was half a voice crack. Okay, so I, I don't know. I did I did it pretty well the first time though, but I'm kind of losing my touch at it then. If I couldn't do it as well the second time, you know, I don't know. I, I wasn't intending to do it either time. Just making that clear. I wasn't like trying to outdo myself actively. You know, I wasn't trying to hamper my. Uh, ah, I'll just shut up now. Uh, we got two item boxes here. You push them like this, you can get them both in one go. Healing confusion been made absolutely useless. We head up here, and this is that giant monster that was keeping this guy awake at night. Yep, everything just comes together, doesn't it? We approach him. And it runs away, just like that Farfetch'd. You know the one I'm talking about. The Farfetch'd that you have to chase down in Gen 2. It's, it's much more annoying than that, though, because you have this little unskippable sequence every time. Now, to sneak up on it, you have to take your big shoes and walk very, very, very slowly up to him. Yes, I am... I'm not kidding. You really do have to walk this slow. Like, you can just barely nudge the control stick. I've gone up to him at what I perceive to be walking speed, and we get an email. What email was so important that it interrupted that? Michael, I'd like to write a novel featuring you as the main character. Please let me interview you. I have a good feeling about the story. I may be generous with my thanks. Thank you. Yep, we got interrupted by Akri, the mother of Emily, friend of Jovi. Yet another way that being acquainted with Jovi has ruined our life. Okay. Uh, he does, however, drop the leftovers. Really good whole item. Restores a 16th of your HP at the end of every turn automatically. I'm not going to equip this to anybody. I might equip it to uh, Billy Bob a little bit later, though. But it's just that I always feel like uh, Leftovers is kind of that one hold item that you only ever equip if you have nothing else to equip to that Pokemon. So that's why I tend to avoid it. Not because it's bad. It's just that I kind of feel like that I could always have something better on that Pokemon. Unless it was, like, really, really demanding that every HP counted. Like, if I was using, like, a substitute or something like that. Which, granted, there is a substitute move tutor here, in, or rather, off in Agate Village there is. So, maybe it would be a good decision. Not really sure. Getting that bed available to us? Think about it. Whoa, the flag actually has the same terrible effect right here. Like, I can see the text that says Libra. That's actually pretty cool, but everything else is a little bit lame. So, just think about that for a minute. Just